Hey everybody, it's Eric with another Arcade 1-Up Cabinet Review. Finally, a fixed Super Pac-Man. A couple weeks ago, I did a video challenging Arcade 1-Up to fix this cabinet. Nobody saw that video, that's okay, because they still fix the cabinet. You know, you download a little something, and then you put your micro USB in the back. So these cabinets can be fixed. That's super cool. Uh, so, you know, the fire button on Galaga was, and Galaxian was on the left, and my hand was starting to really hurt. Now it's on the right and the left, so I can, like, do this. And I can move the stick with my mouth. I mean, if I wanted to, I didn't do that. I'm not into that. All right, let's go check out this cabinet. <laughs> All right, while we have some good lighting, I uh, took some shots of this cabinet. You take a look at the riser. Now there's a lot going on, uh, but I do like it. I think it comes together well, all the games there. I really like the uh, Super Pac-Man guy there. Very cool, there's the sides. Nice, very nice. We will turn this on in a bit. That's what the marquee looks like without the lights on. The bezel. Super Pac-Man bezel. I haven't read any of that. But you can if you want to. Very cool. And the deck looks great. I like the ball top. I put a bat top on it, went back to the ball. So just a beautiful, awesome looking cabinet, really stands out. One thing I wanted to discuss are the buttons. Uh, the buttons are very comparable to Gen 1, the original uh, Pac-Man cabinet buttons. I really don't notice too much of a difference. And the stick is very close as well. Um, it's fine. Um, is it fantastic? Is it a great improvement over the original Pac-Man cabinet? No. Uh, and then up here, I don't know if I can even film that, but we do have the two speakers, which is nice. And the screen is uh, recessed, uh, something new, and I do like that. So a very nice uh, looking cabinet with all the features. Everything is working great. All right, we got the lights off here. Let's check out the marquee first. Uh, very nice. I like it a lot. It is growing on me. Um, there are a little bit darker sections here. Uh, the character is really, really cool. So I like it. I think it's really cool. Uh, one thing people were mentioning, though, if I zoom in, you see, like, this sort of graininess around the lines. Um, there is, like, an appearance that this was, like, photocopied, and so there's, like, some extra, I don't know what you call that, visual noise around the blue lines. It is slightly there. It, it kind of makes the uh, marquee look cheap when you first see it. Uh, but it is growing on me, and I think I do like it. All right, another thing I want to talk about is there is a, like, a blurred effect on these characters. It makes them look less pixelated and more blurry. Okay, so let's go to the original cabinet and check it out. Here, let's, let's watch this guy go. Okay, watch the Pac-Man. The edges are not as sharp they're kind of blurred we're gonna go to the other original cabinet now all right we're in front of the original rk one up pac-man cabinet i still love the look of it uh this is a custom marquee uh i know game factory i think don't hold me to that one of those ones this is the box marquee i really like it it's, it's really good really sharp really crisp see none of that blurry effect we were seeing on the arcade one up marquee that's okay uh but what i want to show you guys is how digital these characters look uh, and less blurry. So you should see like the, the edges are crisper on those guys. All right, so we'll get in here. There you go. See, you can actually see the edges. Now let's go show you some ghosts. And I like this better, to be honest. Yeah, I like that better. It, it, it's it's a little bit more vivid and like the edges those little uh, square edges are clearer we're on the new one and i heard on the 40th cabinet uh there is sort of like a i don't know like a blurred effect going on i wish we had this and i wish we had scan lines the new update did not put any scan lines on the machine um that's unfortunate but uh there you go all right so enough bitching let's talk about why this cabinet rocks uh, the cabinet visually looks good. Again, we got the two speakers. 
and we've got these games. So we have a nice uh, screen. I just bumped the button. If I hold down player one for five seconds, you go back to this screen. So we have Super Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Land, Galaga, Galaxian, Dig Dug, and Pac-Mania. And uh, all great games. I have the volume off uh, just to uh, so I can talk. I'll show you some of this here. So this is the Super Pac-Man, which I find myself playing. You got to get these keys. And if you turn big, you can like go in these little, you know, the keys unlock these little doors. So I like it. Am I good at it? Hell no. But it's interesting and there's a lot of play value here. So that's pretty cool. We hold down the button again for five seconds. And we can go to classic Pac-Man. You guys have seen that. Pac-Mania, guys have probably seen that too. It's more of a 3D, like a, it reminds me of a Zaxxon. Just kind of hitting the buttons here. Pretty cool. Again, the, the, the why this cabinet is so much better than any other Pac-Man cabinet thus far, and Pac-Man can jump now, by the way. There you go. It can jump over ghosts. Try to jump over a ghost. Look at that. Fancy. Um, is there's so many cool games on this cabinet. There's a lot of play value here. Uh, my original Pac-Man cabinet had Pac-Man and Pac-Man Plus, which was just terrible and I never played it. These games, I think I actually will try to play, except I died. So let's hold down the button. It's all about the play value. All right. Uh, Pac-Land. My son likes Pac-Land. Nice little graphics before each game showing you the uh, little pooch. And this one, we don't use uh, the joystick. We use the buttons. Yeah, and you can jump. And if I double tap, he kind of like starts running fast. It's cool. He likes it. And the little ghosts are driving the car. And there is something addicting about this. So, uh, yeah. And you can get the... There you go. And you can eat them up. So very fun. Hold down the player one for five seconds. So when you do the update with the patch, I'm going to warn you, it will reset all the scores. It's resetting your system. So if you've got some amazing high score, I got bad news uh, when you do the patch. All right, Galaga. See, look, fire on the left and fire on the right of the stick now. That is the only change that the patch did uh, for Galaga and Galaxian. You guys. I love the song. Got to have that song. Uh, my high score is only, what, 48,000? I think, what's that, level 10? But I do love having, uh, you know, fire on the right there. But both will work. You can, you know, like I said, I, mean, I could lean in here with my mouth on that <laughs> joystick, but both fire buttons work. So there you go. Knock yourself out. That's cool. Holding the button. I'll show you some Galaxian. I wish the 40th cabinet would have had um, this setup, but it just it just didn't. Yeah, and both the left and the right work on Galaxian. And Galaxian's a lot of fun. It's it's very very different than the Galaga. Sort of different strategy. And I really got to... Oh, look, the high score up there. Hmm. It's a new high score. That's all. I'm and there you go. All right, hold the button down for five seconds. And Dig Dug. Kind of the reason I got this was Dig Dug. Here's an issue here. So the pump is on the right. I thought this would be a great opportunity with the update to make this button also the pump button. Uh, but they didn't do that. So the only changes on the update were Galaxia, Galaxian and Galaga. So I thought just make that pump too for like left-handed people or people who want to do it. But nope. 
And here is where I noticed the blur effect. This looks a little washed, uh, not washed. It just it doesn't look as pixelated as one would expect. But it looks great. I mean, I've been playing this cabinet nonstop. You get tired of one game, I mean, there's just a whole bunch more. Now, this high score stinks. Since I reset 27,000, that's no good. I love this game. You can be creative, you know, you can dig all these crazy ditches. And when this guy tries to come after you, oh, he's leaving, sorry. I forgot, last guy's leaving. No, you're not. But just a great game, so much play value here, and that's really the strength of this cabinet. It, it's got the most games for for your buck uh, compared to any arcade one-up cabinet if you want these games. And I also want to show you this uh, particular uh, cabinet bundle comes with the blue LED lights in the back. Very nice, there's a little switch down there. And uh, that's a lot of light for your home arcade. I mean, it's really gonna make things cool. So I like it, I like that a lot. All right, so what's my final thoughts about the Super Pac-Man cabinet, the Costco exclusive for fall 2020. I love this cabinet. This is a near perfect cabinet now. It is going to replace my Series 1 Pac-Man cabinet. That cabinet's going to go bye-bye. It's on eBay already. Bye-bye, bye-bye, because this has Pac-Man and Galaga and Dig Dug. It has no issues, no volume issues, no screen issues, no issues of any kind. It's the perfect Pac-Man cabinet. I do like the original art, though, on the on the original Pac-Man cabinet. But, you know, Super Pac-Man, he's grown on me. If I had to give the Super Pac-Man cabinet a rating, what would I give it? I'd say this cabinet is super. <laughs>